Hey guys, it's me, Takani, and today we are recapping Southern Charm Savannah Season 1, Episode 3, Boys of Summer. You can watch this yourself on Bravo or Peacock for full context. We pick up right where we left off last episode. Hannah and Ashley are fighting. Well, Ashley's fighting. Hannah's just kind of sitting there really wide-eyed, not being able to get a word in. In case you forgot, Ashley went strip golfing with Daniel and Hannah's boyfriend, Louie. I personally don't have a problem with people playing strip golf or whatever, but I do wonder how many people were on the golf course, had to witness that, and didn't want to consent to seeing Ashley's nippies. <laughs> Lucky for us, Bravo blurred it. I also doubt it was an adults-only golf course. I don't know if those are a thing, but maybe they are for rich people. I've never been to one, so that's a whole nother can of worms I won't touch. As they're fighting back and forth, or well, Ashley's fighting, saying that Hannah is being super judgmental, Hannah keeps reassuring Ashley that she's not judging her, but she's uncomfortable with the fact that Ashley showed her body to Louie, even if it was in lingerie. Hannah keeps reassuring Ashley that she's not judging her. She's just uncomfortable with the fact that Ashley flaunted her body in front of her boyfriend Louie. Ashley then began to argue it's a double standard because the men took their shirts off. In my opinion, Hannah does have a right to feel a certain way and to communicate those feelings. She's also made it explicitly clear to Ashley that it's not against her religious beliefs or anything personal for her. It's just how Hannah feels. And Ashley also has a right to do whatever she wants with her body and ignore societal norms or pressures or whatever. All that being said, I disagree with Ashley getting upset with Hannah vocalizing that it bothered her. Hannah could have not made it any more clear that she's not judging Ashley personally and she's just expressing her own feelings. Hannah also expressed that she's really bothered by the fact that her and Ashley had a discussion about Hannah not feeling like Louis growing up. He's just being too childish. And then Ashley goes and encourages Louis to strip golf. So it just seems like Ashley is encouraging those childish behaviors. And that's what Hannah was most upset by. Ashley, however, takes Hannah's discomfort as a personal attack and then accuses Hannah of being super judgmental. Hannah then continues to say that she just wants Ashley to understand how she feels. And all Ashley's doing Doing is making it about her. I just wanted to share how I felt. Well, you know how I feel? I feel like I'm constantly attacked by the other girls and it gets old. This is why I golf with the boys. I'm tired of the girls attacking me. I don't feel like I'm attacking you. Well, it feels that way. You're condemning me. That's not fair to say. I just wanted you to know it made me uncomfortable. I'm letting you know it makes me uncomfortable too. I think it's crossing a line. <laughs> I don't understand how this conversation offends you. I'm entitled to my opinion too. I never brought up my opinion. It's only been yours from the beginning. You did bring up your opinion. I'm the only one being attacked. It was a one piece. I was in my underwear. Grow up. It's not a big deal. After the argument, Ashley leaves saying that Hannah brought this up all wrong and this was not the way to do it. Which, how was she supposed to do it, Ashley? I think this was the most appropriate way. She had you come over to her house, you both sat down just mano y mano and talked about it. There's no other way she could have presented this information to you that would have been more appropriate. Anyway, as Ashley's packing her stuff, she says, I don't have time for drama in my life. Girl, you started it. What are you talking about? Hannah's been apologizing throughout this and she just continues to apologize again. She continues to explain that she was just trying to clear the air with Ashley. And then Ashley says that there's a way to clear the air without... I'm serious. Yeah, that's exactly what she said. That's a whole sentence of nothing. What could she have done? But of course, Ashley doesn't want to explain what Hannah did wrong. Because Ashley doesn't know. She just feels attacked. And that's it. That's enough to make her shut down. Ashley was so much in the wrong here that it's just unbelievable. After Ashley leaves, Hannah's left absolutely dumbfounded. And girl, <laughs> me too. Unfortunately, some people are just like that. They feel attacked and then they shut down. Or they feel attacked and they blame the person who they felt attacked by. Even if the person wasn't actually attacking them. They'll just make something up in their head. Hannah then calls Louis and tells him how the chat with Ashley went. And she's talking about how she's super confused and she's just crying. Hannah goes on to explain that this was the first time she really stood up for herself. She really overcame a lot of anxiety to do that, just for it to all blow up in her face. But Hannah doesn't really explain to Louie what happened, just that it was a huge misunderstanding and they got into an argument and she left. Now let's go to Catherine, who's meeting Brandon to talk about what's been going on since he's been gone. You know, strip golf, Daniel preparing for the drag show. 
etc. They also talk about Brandon potentially mentoring Catherine in interior design. On the other side of town, Daniel's meeting with Ashley to discuss the drag show and figure out what's going on. Ashley basically tells Daniel that Hannah was saying they have different values and different beliefs. Daniel said that, yeah, that's probably true, and it's not a bad thing. Then Ashley said that it became an attack. Daniel basically tells her to apologize to Hannah, and Ashley's like, I don't have anything to apologize for. Then Daniel tells her to be the bigger person, and Ashley's like, I am always the bigger person. I did nothing wrong. Girl, you did everything wrong, but okay. <laughs> Daniel then encourages her again to apologize, and she says she will, just to keep the peace. It's finally the drag show, and Daniel is being transformed into coupons galore. Then Catherine and Brandon decide to bring up the strip golf and Ashley going off to Hannah to Louie, and he just awkwardly chuckles and laughs and walks away. When Ashley comes to join the crowd to watch the drag show, Hannah immediately tenses up the second she sees her. According to Hannah, Ashley sent flowers and a note that morning, and according to Ashley, they had a text conversation and made up. However, Hannah still feels disrespected. And Ashley is now mad that Hannah won't just instantly forgive her. The whole gang is in the audience, and as they introduce the beautiful coupons galore on stage, they just absolutely flaunt it. After the show, they all head to the bar and start drinking, and coupon galore goes away and Daniel comes back to play. Unfortunately, the queens didn't teach him how to remove makeup, so he's got a little guy liner going on. Hannah pulls Ashley outside to have a talk. She says that everything is fine and Hannah is sorry for making Ashley feel attacked. I still don't think Hannah did anything wrong, but okay. Then Happy, Brandon, and Catherine all go out to protect Hannah, but I think it was more to stir the pot. I mean, Brandon and Catherine were both annoyed that they already made up and called it a fake up. You know, where you fake makeup. The next day, there's some filler stuff about Brandon and Catherine meeting up so Brandon can teach Catherine some interior design stuff. Then later that night, Nelson hosts a poker night. Daniel, Louie, Lyle, and some dude named Ernest arrive. The boys do some poker and drink. After some poker explanation and chip putting in or whatever, Nelson says that they should include Ashley more because she's feeling isolated. Louie reminds Nelson that Ashley feels isolated because she isolated herself. She attacked Hannah for no reason when Hannah was just trying to clear the air. And now she's mad that not everybody forgives her for it? Daniel agrees and says that the group should make up with Ashley. Life is too short for all this drama. Now as everyone's leaving and saying goodbye, Nelson says a Yiddish slur to Daniel. Daniel's obviously taken aback, and he's like, why did you say that? That doesn't make any sense to say. I don't know why you're saying that. Nelson then replies, good, so you do know what I'm saying? Daniel explains in the confessional that it's an old Yiddish word to speak derogatory of black people, and he's understandably uncomfortable with Nelson using it. If you can see here, if it's not too blurry. That's Nelson. With the magic of editing, you'll probably see it in front of me somewhere. The next day, Daniel meets up with Ashley and they catch up. Ashley says that she feels left out and lonely. Daniel says that he feels the same way. He explains what it's like to be Jewish in Georgia, and he shares his experiences of being isolated because of his religion. And he shares about how his great-grandfather opened up his own club since he couldn't join the other one because of his religion. Next, we cut to Lyle and Louie at a bar, and Lyle's explaining to Louie that he got kicked out of 11th grade for taking upskirt shots of women. Thank you for sharing that, Lyle. They pretty much just brush over this comment, though. And then Daniel comes and joins them. Daniel asks Louis and Lyle to forgive Ashley and give her another chance because he really relates to her. Louis is like, you are not relatable to Ashley. He then goes on to accuse Ashley of being a pathological liar and manipulator. Louis and Lyle say that they both don't trust Ashley. And then Lyle's like, and Ashley works for Delta at baggage claim. The way he said it just made me feel like he thinks that someone working at Delta is just beneath them. Lyle says that Ashley is lying about her career and she's not really a stylist because she works at Delta. And gosh forbid, she's both. I would understand if she was lying about her whole occupation, but the fact that she just doesn't mention that she works at Delta when she's mentioning she's a stylist, I don't think that's really that big of a deal. And I don't know why they brought it up. I guess it was just to have something to say or some gossip, but it was just like really strange to me. But that's where we end this episode. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this recap of Southern Charm Savannah. What did you think? Let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to like or dislike the video and subscribe to the channel and I'll catch you next time. Bye guys!